I'm here today with the Elego or El Ego Mars 5 3D printer. So let's unbox this and see how easy it is to set this thing up. So the whole thing here is wrapped in plastic and foam. So that is already looking pretty cool. So let's get that open to get to the foamy parts. Okay, now in here we have the power cord and this part comes off and here on top we have the toolkit. Here is the book, the user manual, this foam piece, then another foam piece here at the back and then this foam piece in the middle here. So here's the El Ego machine, looking pretty cool. So we've got the power switch right here, then a USB in and a DC in. Okay, so this part comes off. And there's another foam piece in there and then we can remove this foam piece. So there's certainly a lot of foam in there. This is like the glass or plastic transparent chamber. And here's some more parts, another foam piece. This is all wrapped in plastic. And then a very, very cool green design there. So that's pretty cool. So let's read the manual and learn how to set this thing up. So we have a protective film here and here. And a protective film here on the base plate. That's nice. And then one here on the uh, build plate. So let's remove that as well. And now the instructions aren't really that clear, but it seems this thing goes onto here with a clasp. Oh, so that's pretty easy to do. And now that's on there. And then this is supposed to go on top of here, I think. Perhaps we should turn it on and then it will automatically start guiding us through the steps. Let's see. Here are some additional tools you can use for all of this. And then the power adapter, some gloves. Have you ever seen that? A USB stick, a little scraper, an actual scraper, some sort of coffee filters, and a, a mask as well, safety mask, and then the power cord right here. Let's get this thing on. I have to say, it isn't the most user-friendly instructions here, so we have to just figure out in what order to do these things by ourselves. But let's plug this in and see where it takes us. Okay, so now that is turning on. It says upon startup, the printer conducts a self check on the hardware components. So you can see here self test, usage count zero, status of LCD screen connection, status of the monitor. So it hasn't done any of these things yet. Tool settings and print. So it's a little touch screen here, nothing too fancy, but it is in color. Calibration, tank cleaning. You can stop it from here. Design device self test in here. And settings, information language, surface, and then you can print, no file detector. You can put something on the USB stick and then insert that. It seems, seems this resin container goes onto here. So there's a few legs here that go in there that's secure. And then we can tighten that with these screws. But it doesn't say any of that in the manual. You just have to look at the thing and then gather that by yourself. And th then it should do some test printing. And this flash drive apparently contains the software for slicing. So that seems to be the Voxel Dance Tango. Uh, you can download that or use this USB stick to uh, install that on your computer. Yes, and we can easily fasten this. So now this is connected. And apparently you put the resin in there, which is not included in the package. So we have to buy some resin and then start the test. Let's put this away for a second. It looks quite cool. Elego Mars number five. So it looks really, really cool. I'm very impressed with that. But so far the ease of use isn't that great. But let's continue installing this when I get the resin. Okay, so I'm back after ordering some resin. I got the standard polymer resin from El Ego. And so we can fill that up here. And I also got the mini heater from El Ego. So this seems to be very useful if you're doing this like outside in your garage or your shed, which is advisable because of the toxins, the gas that it releases. And this heats up to 25 degrees. So you can use this also in winter. So that's supposedly very useful as well and easy to install. So let's install that as well. So here we have a little user manual and the screws to attach it. Here's the little heater. So it's very small. It's, it's quite tiny, this thing. Just a little on off switch and then the power supply right here. And this is where the fan is. 
can see that the install plate, it also has a carbon filter right in there. Let's open that up. So that's already in there. And you also get in this box two additional of these carbon filters. So that's pretty cool. Now installing it should be easy enough for each of these Elego printers. You have this little backing plate right here, which functions as an exhaust. So we can remove this and then install our back plate on there. So let's do that. Okay, so that comes right off. Let's put that away for a second. And then we need to install this back plate right here. So you also have holes in there for the uh, knobs right here. So this should go here on the outside. And then these knobs should go like this. Yes, so the plate should be this way up. So this way up, that should be like so. And then this can go in like so. So let's mount that one and then on this side as well. So this has just got two connections instead of the four, but I think that should be secure enough. So this way you can push the button right there and you can also add the power supply to the back and then secure that mini heater here with two screws as well. Okay, so that is nice and secure. And now you can fit that over the top. Okay, so this fits on top of here. So these two, make sure that you can still push the button and access the power cord right here. So this should be fitted like so. This way up, it seems like so. This way up. So let's get those first screws in there. And then this one goes right here. Okay, and now we should be able to attach the Elego thing right here on the inside. So like this, and there are two screw holes here as well. So let's tighten those. Okay, so now that's nice and secure and that should fit on top of here perfectly. Yep, and now you have the little heater in there as well. Okay, so now we should be able to add the polymer. Just add that in the basket here. And then make sure you don't go over the max here, the max line. So anything up to that is fine. Okay, so now we can turn on the printer and add the power brick to our heater. So this thing is massive. Look at that. I think that's because heating that thing needs a lot of power. So let's add this back bad boy back up here like so. Then add the power supply like so. Clip that right in. And now we should be able to turn that on as well. Yep, so that is scanning the temperature too. 15, 16 degrees here is what it says. And then we should be able to insert the USB stick that was delivered with it. Let's see if the test model is on there. So that's immediately reading that. So that's cool. It seems to be on. Temperature is already rising here. So we got the slicing software right here and then the printing test. So let's click on printing test. And there is the Rook. You can see the file information. How long it will take. So that's pretty cool. So let's start printing that. So now it's calibrating, automatically detecting the resin here and going down. And we can see the temperature here for the heater as well. So it's dunking in there. Auto leveling. So let's come back when that finishes. Okay, so now that that has stopped dripping, total print time is 2 hours and 27 minutes for like a thing that large, that big. Let's take off the power supply for the heater and take this one off and there is the model now we can take this base off so here it is so that's quite cool that is the standard print it's a swirly rock piece here let's see if that will immediately pop off now red, you also have like a cleaning station that you can use from Eligo to clean these, fully clean these. Get all of the resin out of there. So it's pretty cool. You even have some lettering on there. 
illegal Mars 5 it says right on the piece right here it's very oily this piece so cleaning it isn't uh, a really a bad idea here I think but it does seem to be in very good condition so that's really cool look at the detail on that I think that's very nice so this overall this is a great printer and it was pretty easy to set up even though we had to get the resin to wait a couple of days before I could start using this and I would have liked to see like Wi-Fi on this because now you have to use the software that you get with it well you can um, use the Voxel Dance Tango software and you get a code for that so you don't have to buy it so you can use the software with this but then you have to put your uh, prints on the USB stick and insert that and well, that is a little bit of a hassle, but it isn't even the worst thing. Having like a Wi-Fi enabled device also lets you keep updated on the status and on the progress. So now it is two, two hours and 27 minutes, but uh, it, it's nice to be able to get like a message that it's done so you can go and uh, turn that, the device off. So I think that's always a nice feature to have. But other than that, it's very easy to use. <laughs> it's really cool looking, especially with the hood on top of it. Let's put that on there. I think that's especially cool. So it is a very nice printer and relatively easy to use. So this was my unboxing and trying to set this up and I hope this helps you make your choice.